hey folks welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to set up a watercolor palette and answering one of your questions about whether i prefer watercolor cakes or tubes well uh, this is my personal opinion so don't uh, you don't have to actually follow it you can see what you prefer by trying it out so I personally prefer the watercolor cakes because uh, there's no hassle of opening your uh, tubes one by one whichever colors you want and you know it's just you know I decide the colors as I go as I start painting and that's uh, watercolor cakes is something that allows me to use whichever color whenever I want and I don't have to decide in advance so these are Camlin artist watercolors that I bought quite some time back and I haven't used it yet so I'm gonna set these up now and I'm gonna show you how to use them all right so this is permanent orange so the good thing about these camel artist watercolors is it comes with this little cap okay so what this cap actually does is it keeps your paint fresh for a really long time so i'm just gonna add these colors here So I'm not going to empty the entire thing, I'm just using half, alright. So that's what I'm going to do with the rest of the colors. So all you have to do is let this thing dry for a while and once it dries you can close this palette and use it whenever you want to. You can just use this as your, uh, now I've used camel so it's a camel watercolor palette for me and you can use this whenever you want by just spraying a little bit of water, uh, use a spray bottle, spray it in a mist and you can activate the paints whenever you want it so it's been a week since i set up this palette you can see i have filled it up a little bit more and i've added more paint into it okay so i had queries about uh, when how long you should let it dry and sometimes in hot weather the palette the paint in the palette gets fungus and so on so make sure you allow it to dry completely and by dry completely i don't just mean dry to the touch you just have to make sure it's dry like this and comes out from the side and cracks a little bit okay this may not be the same for every single paint but i'm talking about camel artists uh, watercolor tubes and this is how once it dries you can see the edges they come out like this you can see several others that have cracked out like that so make sure that's what happens and you know that your paint has dried even after it cracks let it stay for at least uh, maybe a week and then you can close it and every single time you use it you can let it dry for a day and then close the palette you can see that uh, when you use your paints this part will be wet so or however you're using your paints so just make sure that part is dry but when you set up a palette you have to make sure the entire thing is dry and not just the top so that is why i would recommend leaving it out for two weeks at least open under uh, when so leave it under the fan and then you can close it another solution is you could use a palette that is not completely airtight and that would also serve very well 
so this is a palette i bought in uh, an art supply store here in pune so you can see this has tiny little holes like that so this will make sure you don't get fungus if you're living in a very hot place a uh, humid place then make sure you buy something like this so you can ensure that there is no fungus at any rate so if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below thank you so much for watching